In this video, we will learn about the different types of uh, SQL joints. So there are four types of joint, inner joint, left outer joint, right outer and full outer joint. So the first one is the inner joint. This diagram I took from the W3 schools. So here you can see the table one and table two. And we will get the records that have matching values in both tables. For the left outer joint, we will get all the records from the table that is on the left side and all the records from the table two that have matching key with the table one. And for the right outer join, we will get all the records from the right table and from the left table, we will get only those records that have the matching ID with the table two. And from the full outer join, we will get all the records when there is a matching in either left or right table. So let's do with the help of uh, example. So we can go to the SQL management studio. Let me write one query, select a static from, for example, production dot uh, products, this one, execute. And here you can see I'm getting 504 rows. And let's do the same, select Static from production dot sub product category. This one. So let me execute both. So here you can see I am getting uh, records from the from the product table and from the product subcategory table. So here you can see the product subcategory is also available in the product table as well. Um, let me show you product subcategory ID. So we can make a join based on this uh, ID. So uh, let me execute uh, only the subcategory to show you the number of uh, records. So there are 37 rows available. So for the inner join, we need to write select steric from production dot uh, product pd the alias is pd inner join production dot uh, product subcategory this is the ps the alias is ps then we need to use one operator on where uh, pd dot subcategory ID is equal to PS dot subcategory ID. So it doesn't matter if you use PS here or the uh, PD there. So it doesn't matter. And uh, if I and then I need to grab some columns. For example, PD from the product table, I need a name and a pd dot color then i can write here the name of the column product name is equal to pd dot name and the product color so it will be product color is equal to the pd dot color and from this subcategory i need ps product sub category is equal to ps dot name. So let me execute. So here you can see I'm getting 295 rows. So 295 rows has uh, the unique values between these two tables. So let's try to do with a left auto join. Uh, let me control C and uh, left auto join. So you just need to write here left outer join. So what is the left table? The table that we have written first. The product table is on the left side 
and the product subcategory table on the right side. So when we will execute this query, we will get all the rows from the left table, that is product table, right? So how many rows we should get? We should get uh, 504 rows, right? So we will get all the rows from the product table. And uh, from the product subcategory table, we will get only those rows which have the matching ID with the product table. So what is the matching criteria? Matching criteria is product subcategory ID, right? So let me execute now. So see, I'm getting the same rows as we have in the product table, that is 504 rows because uh, uh, so he, here you can see I'm getting the product name, product color, but the product uh, subcategory is null because the product subcategory ID that is available in the product name is not available in the product subcategory table. And uh, if you go a little bit below, so here you can see we are getting the product uh, subcategory name as well for those uh, product for those subcategories where we have the product subcategory id in the product subcategory table and the product table right so now let's uh, copy the whole and uh, then we will uh, right right auto join so we just need to write here right so what is the right table the right table is product subcategory table so we will get all the rows from the product subcategory table but from the product table we will get only those rows which have the matching product subcategory ID with the product subcategory ID available in the product subcategory table, right? So let me execute. So here you can see I'm getting 295 rows. We are getting uh, here, here you can see, uh, let me execute only the uh, product subcategory table. Um, here I'm getting only 37 rows. But when I'm executing the right auto join, I'm getting a 295 rows. Why we are getting so many rows? Because against one product subcategory, we are having multiple products. That's why here you can see like a road frames. So there are two products. The point is against one product subcategory, we, we are having multiple products. That's why we are getting 295 rows. So the last is full auto join. Full auto join this one. So we just need to write the keyword full auto join. So it doesn't matter. Either we have a matching row in the left table or right table, we will get all the rows from both tables. As you can see here, it returns all the records when there is a match either in the left table, either in the right table. In, in other cases, we were like the left outer join or the right outer join. We are getting, for example, if we talk about the left auto join, we are getting all the rows from the left table, but the matching rows from the right table. And uh, if we talk about the right auto join, so this is the exactly opposite. So when there is a match in either left or right table. So, so when we will use the full auto join, we will get all the rows from the left table and the right table. So if I execute, so here you can see I'm getting 504 rows. So that's all about joins in SQL.
So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you.